Today we are going to define and classify a transversal in parallel lines and angles in geometry. What is a transversal in geometry? A transversal is any line crossing another line or lines. When it crosses two parallel lines, the resulting eight angles have interesting properties. You have probably ridden in a car on a street that crossed railroad tracks. As you crossed the tracks, you completed a transversal. A transversal is a line that crosses other lines. Usually we work with transversals when they cross parallel lines, like the two tracks of a railroad. Let's construct a transversal to see how they interact with parallel lines. Use a straight edge and pencil to draw parallel lines BE and AR so that BE is horizontal and at the top, with AR horizontal and at the bottom. Use a straight edge and pencil to draw a line cutting from above BE to below AR. Label it OW. You see, it is never a good idea to cross a bear. Our transversal OW created eight angles where it crossed BE and AR. These are called supplementary angles. What are supplementary angles? Supplementary angles are pairs of angles that add up to 180 degrees. Because all straight lines are 180 degrees, we know that angle Q and angle S are supplementary. Together, the two supplementary angles make half of a circle. Supplementary angles are not limited to just transversals. In this example, the supplementary angles are QS, QT, TU, SU, and VX, VY, YZ, and XZ. Here are all the other pairs of supplementary angles. Let's take a look at our exterior angles. Think back to those railroad tracks. If you were between the train tracks, you would be inside the lines. If you stepped across the tracks, you would be outside the lines. The same is true with parallel lines BE and AR and their transversal OW. The angles above and below the parallel lines are outside and are called exterior angles. Your drawing has four exterior angles, angle Q, angle S, angle Y, and angle Z. Your drawing also has four interior angles, or angles inside, between, the parallel lines, angle T, angle U, angle V, and angle X. Next, let's look at the vertical angles. Angles in your transversal drawing that share the same vertex are called vertical angles. Do not confuse the use of vertical with the idea of straight up and down. You have four pairs of vertical angles. Angle Q and angle U, angle S and angle T, angle V and angle Z, angle Y and angle X. The next pairs are called corresponding angles. The two parallel lines are creating corresponding angles. To be corresponding angles, the two angles must be on the same side of the transversal. One angle must be interior and the other exterior. Notice that angle Q is congruent to angle V. Angle Q is an exterior angle on the left side of transversal OW, and angle V is an interior angle on the same side of the transversal line. All the pairs of corresponding angles are angle Q and angle V, angle T and angle Y, angle S and angle X, angle U and angle Z. Last but not least, let's look at the alternating angles. Alternating angles are pairs of angles in which both angles are either interior or exterior. They appear on opposite sides of the transversal and are congruent. The four pairs of alternating angles in our drawing are angle V and angle U, angle X and angle T, angle Q and angle Z, angle Y and angle S. Lesson Summary Transversals are lines that intersect two parallel lines at an angle. You can also construct a transversal of parallel lines and identify all eight angles the transversal forms. You can classify angles as supplementary angles that add up to 180 degrees. Vertical angles, corresponding angles, alternating angles, interior angles, or 
Exterior Angles